Hey guys, it's just a cloth again today, and so it's Monster Legends Guides video. I'm going to be telling you guys the best way to get gems in 2023. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so if you didn't know, the best way to get gems is obviously Aero Sagas, but in 2023, they have added a brand new type of Aero Saga, which is actually way easier than the older ones. So with the new season, they added a bunch of new books, not just new monsters. So you'll basically just be able to look at any of these books, for example, the old season guard book is going on right now and you want to just get as many mythics out of this book as possible including the old ones because you can use them but of course the new ones will make it much easier and the ancestor will make it super easy so try to get the ancestor if you can but of course whether or not you get the ancestor is all up to luck so don't really worry too much about that it is definitely still possible with the mythics so once you get a few monsters from any of the new books go into battles go into dungeons and of course go to era sagas and you should probably do this before then actually because it's only certain books if you go on here you can see that the righteous court book started right when the season started and then they recently added the old sea guard book so basically yeah you can just play through with any monster from either the old sea guard or the righteous court which are the two going on right now and i am guessing that they're going to add more in the future since they recently added this one and then next season hopefully they keep doing this because before you would have to have certain monsters like as you can see all of these different monsters but if they do them for just books you can even even use older monsters in them which is amazing and that will make it way easier to get gems and of course if you get any of these monsters through breeding events and they are actually in breeding events quite often especially the older ones you can still do their air sagas and get gems out of those but you cannot get as many gems as the new air sagas they actually take some of the gems out of them after the season ends so definitely make sure to do the Righteous Squirt and the Old Seaguard one as quickly as possible since of course they will be taking the gyms out very soon. And by very soon I mean 12 days so you still have quite a bit of time but make sure to do them as soon as possible. And yeah if more books pop up go ahead and do those as well. So let's go ahead and end the video off with a quick Conjuring Summon. I do only have these tickets so we'll just do a basic one and we'll see what I get get i guess i'll just skip the animation oh i actually got ophi against the zodiac cells which is pretty cool i actually do really like him and then i got Zyron the emerald which used to be one of the best monsters in the game or actually i think it was ruby that was one of the best but emerald was still really good but that was of course back when there were no mythics so that doesn't really matter anymore i also got alo death i apparently already had a ton of his cells i think he was a pvp monster so yeah i guess i got some pretty cool stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye